Modern fast food is boring. It's got zero pizzazz. Every single restaurant has a chicken sandwich that tastes like rubber. And I'm a bit fed up at this point. So I assembled a team of the most talented crack job group of ridiculous individuals to help me redesign famous fast foods to get Gen Z back to developing heart disease by the time they're 20. Enjoy. Let me show you guys the god of this video. Behold. Oh, that, I'm holy actually very shit. nice. What's up with that meat burp? <laughs> That's the roasted beef sandwich from Arby's. Oh god, they need the most help of all. <laughs> Do you guys eat fast food at all? Yeah. All the time. What's your favorite fast food? The Big Mac. The Big Mac? I thought you were a vegan. It is going to be your guys' job to recreate the item that you get and to improve it for the sake of humanity. I want to go first. I'm praying for the sandwich. Oh. oh. Ah. The Whopper. Ah. That's, That's actually Whopper. one of my least favorite ones on this wheel. <laughs> You're not getting the flesh sandwich that you want. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looks like skin. It does. It looks like stacked <laughs> skin. Eddie Burback, are you next? Yes. Yeah, spin me. Oh. Ooh. You got a Chipotle burrito, Eddie. Honestly, I said I wasn't hoping for anything, but this was probably the, the least one that I wanted. I'm manifesting the flesh sandwich. Yes! You know I'm a little fleshy guy. I love flesh. Please, please. Oh, oh my God! Emma, you got the Big That's Mac. That's the Big Mac. That's the king of fast food. God hates me. Wait, Jaden, didn't you say you were vegan? Yeah. Why do you say like a big man? Can I not be both? I mean, I'm no scientist, <laughs> but no. <laughs> I want that KFC bucket, baby. Oh, what oh, is that? Oh, no. You got Subway. Oh, no. I <laughs> hate <laughs> Subway. <laughs> Damn it. You can spin again, but you have to go with the one that it lands on. Ooh. Ooh. I will be for sure spin again. I don't want to give them my help. <laughs> Everyone's been corrupted. No, 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 no. Oh, frosty. Oh, the oh. frosty. Here I go. Do I'm praying for something nice. Oh, oh, I got the Crunch God. Wrap Supreme. Supreme. Jaden? Oh, God. Donut. A donut. Oh. A little Krispy wow. Kreme donut. So now we're going to be splitting off, and we are going to be creating our fast food recreations. I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. All right. The Frosty, right? There's no way to sex this up much more than it being ice cream. But here's what I... I'm thinking of doing already. Special edition, right? That's what people like. You think about Chipotle, what are the problems? First, you got disease. Number two, Chipotle has lost out in internet culture. And who capitalized on meme culture more by making a meme by being kind of cringy than McDonald's with their uh, celebrity meals? I will make a Chipotle celebrity meal for somebody who gets Gen Z, you know, hopping out of their seats and going to restaurants. The main problem that I have have with donuts. Let me draw a little billboard here. Not much to offer. No nutritional value. What else is the problem? It doesn't fill you up. You have to eat like a do dozen of them, if not six, and then you feel like shit. Everybody likes the Crunch Rat Supreme from Taco Bell, and they like it because it's crunchy. How do we bother kids so that they bother their parents to get my version of Crunch Rat Supreme? Well, we gotta make it crunchier, clearly. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it as crunchy as possible. I hate Whoppers. I hate Whoppers. I really... <sighs> Uh, what if we just discontinue the Whopper and replace it with something else? We can rebirth the Whopper into something new. The meat on a Whopper just, it's like, it feels wrong. If I had to change one thing about the Burger King Whopper, it would probably be the the patty. So you all heard everybody when I got the Big Mac refer to it as the king of fast food burgers. But one thing that I know about Gen Z is that they do not fuck with the bourgeoisie. I am planning on sexing up the Big Mac by including a guillotine with it. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that 20 minutes? For Will, a little bit longer. I am sweating. Yeah, yeah. That was like 25 minutes, you cheater. I had to relearn Photoshop. Dawn of time, fast food has been a pleasure for households across this great nation. There is one thing that brings people in like Black Friday doorbuster deals, limited edition food items. And that is why I have created the Wendy's Nuts Supreme oh. Limited Edition Frosty. Ooh. 
This is a full tilt collab <laughs> with Supreme. It is a $150 mug in which you get one serving. No refills. None. None. Yeah. You have to buy an additional Supreme Does mug. the print of the Supreme font continue to the bottom or does the mm. mug just say suck? <laughs> <laughs> yes, part of the mugs just say ream. In order to maximize our profit margin, we will be using the finest of child labor. Excellent. Uh, yeah. I like a businessman. Classic. Who sells better the children than children themselves? I'm going to give this 4.2 out of 5 child labor. Thank you. I give it a 2.8. 2.8? I Okay. It's a, you That's know, a tough I, I, That's tough to hear. I think if the cups were maybe like gold plated, maybe. Might I point you to every Supreme drop okay. ever? He's got oh, you there. Oh, he's got you there. They That's sold true. a That's crowbar true. for four hundred and fifty dollars. It was a nice crowbar. Wait, William, you know about this, and you still gave him a two point eight? Okay, you okay, know about okay. the crowbar. <laughs> How dishwasher safe is this? Not at all. <laughs> Falls apart. Four point five. Four out of five. Then. Jaden, it's made by the brittle fingers of a child laborer. You think that thing's gonna hold together in the wash? What happens if you put it in the dishwasher? <laughs> oh, it just melts. It just it melts. The skeleton of this thing is mostly asbestos. Mm, okay. Got okay. It. Yeah, that's a four out of five. I'm going to give it a five. Wow. Yeah, five child think, laborers? Yeah, the marketing's solid. Mine is uh, eight ream mugs out of ten. Thank you so much. Here at Chipotle, we've been feeding America since July 13th of 1993, and we've seen some success, but we're not perfect. So what are the problems with Chipotle? Disease. And it tastes just okay. But the biggest problem with Chipotle currently. Millennials love Chipotle, but Gen Z does not. They like hanging out. You know, they like memes. Mm, they like yeah. cool celebs. They also like America. They like mm. being patriots. There's mm. nothing Gen Z loves more than this country. Mm. So I am introducing, in association with our partner, Will Neff, oh. <laughs> the Ronald Wilson Reagan meal at Whoa. Chipotle. Wow. Wow. I know. Now, this is a big play. So here's how the meal works. The Ronald Wilson Reagan meal at Chipotle is fun and easy to order. We give the meal to the wealthiest person in the restaurant. <laughs> okay. So you pay for it. You do not receive it immediately. And after that, you hope that that wealthy person is full enough with their meal that they will give it down to you. This is a trickle down meal. I think that it'll get the internet talking. We try it out enough times. And at one point, those meals are going to be trickling down to people across restaurants in all of America. Thank you very wow. much. Now, I have a question. Mm? The Travis Scott meal, a big selling point was mm -hmm. the sauces, right? Yes. Are we going to get any kind of limited edition Ronald Reagan food item? If you're ordering the meal, instead of offering sour cream, it's yes. called Ronald's cream. Oh, now and that, that sounds, sounds appetizing. That sounds like something that I'd like to put in my body. I'm going to rate this all in all, not bad. Not bad at all. What is What would the numerical value of that? Oh, uh, I'd give this an 8.7. Four out of five Reggies, the little Ronald Reagan-themed toys that they give out at Chipotle. Say, I'm going to give it a, a 3.5 failed assassination attempts. True. Before we move on, though, this video is sponsored by Honey, the only way that you should be saving your cold, hard cash when you're shopping online. Honey is the number one shopping tool in America. It's basically an automated version of that section of your brain when you're shopping online that says to yourself, oh, maybe I should look for some discount codes for this website. Honey does that for you. The way it works is that when you go to checkout when you're shopping online, Honey will pop up and tell you there are savings to be had. Then you let it determine which code brings you the most savings and boom, you've saved some money as quickly as that. If you do any form of online shopping, Honey works for things that you've already been buying on sites that you probably already use. When you're buying shoes, video games, even getting food delivered, Honey can help you save money on all of those things. And man, when you save cash, <sighs> It's a rush of adrenaline. The flow of endorphins is unimaginable. You can add Honey to your browser by going to joinhoney.com slash TED. I had the donut. I started off with identifying the shortcomings. Honestly, not much to offer. Fried dough and sugar, very little nutritional value. You have to eat like six, 12 donuts just to feel, start feeling sick. So I created a customize your own donut. Your first customization option is the chicken donut. Oh, I, I did wow. research on America's favorite meats. Chicken is very much up there. Oh. <laughs> and it's just chicken patty. Chicken goes great with lettuce, so we put some lettuce on there. The next flavor is fish, you know? Oh no, this is unholy. This is the the fish donut. Oh, pink why does it have frosted. sparkles? Now our third one is to cater to the, the upper class, the people who like the more refined, uh, harder to get meats. 
which is okay. lamb. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how you eat <laughs> lamb. So oh, it's boiled. I, it, it's, it's it's a creme brulee donut. There was a huge demand for specifically Arby's meat. Yes! Oh. That is an old woman. <laughs> an elderly yes. woman yes. you have yes. there. The Arby's meat <laughs> cream-filled donut. Yeah! 4.7 out of five Arby meats. Five out of five. The innovation is just like undeniable. Gotta be like a five out of five cream filled meats. If you know anything about Krispy Kreme, the greatest thing about that franchise is the Krispy Kreme red light. The light that they turn on like a siren's call to beckon you that there are <laughs> fresh donuts ready. I give oh. this presentation one big red Krispy Kreme light. Thank on. you, wow. sir. This one really got me thinking. It's got all the aspects of something that I and, and people in Gen Z would enjoy. We got beef, we got cheddar, we got cream. I'm gonna give this 10 dream creams out of 10. <laughs> My presentation is much less corporate, direct, straight to the point, and it's also the antithesis to some of the other presentations. Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'll let everybody take a second. So this is the antithesis of the Ronald meal. Yes. Mm -hmm. As you all noticed when I got the Big Mac, a couple of you commented that it is the king of fast food burgers. Sure. Big Mac. That's the king of fast food. If there's one thing that I know about Gen Z, it's that they hate the 1%. And if the 1% was gonna be embodied in a fast food, it would have to be the Big Mac. Are you gonna have Ronald McDonald wearing sort of a black hooded cloak? Yes, the executioner outfit. I kind of feel like Grimace would be a better executioner. Yeah, William, you made an interesting point too. Maybe Grimace and the Hamburglar can operate mm. it and they're mm. trying to chase down Ronald. And Ocean at the end of the campaign, they behead him. I honestly would buy that just for the guillotine. That's a five out of five. So I'm gonna give this a 4.9 out of five only wow. because that Big Mac looks really soggy. And it has it's, glass in it. It's dripping. There's glass. There's sesame seeds. I'm going to give this 4.3 out of five okay. mini little guillotine. I am going to go ahead and say to love a burger is to see the face of God. I give this project four out of five Victor Hugos. In the pursuit of life, man always looks for crunch. We try to solve our need for crunch with the Crunch Wrap Supreme, but the Crunch Wrap Supreme does not do enough. I've decided to create a bit of a campaign. We entice the children with a bit of a challenge. How well your teeth could deal with the crunchiest Crunch Wraps. I've created Taco Bell's crunchiest Crunch Wrap Whoa. Supreme. Yeah. This is sort of an event thing that Taco Bell will be running as a campaign where we will encase a Crunch Wrap in a giant jawbreaker. I just looked up viruses uh, that can be transmitted well, no, via okay, saliva. So Hepatitis, not... herpes, uh, types one and two, oh, Epstein-Barr okay. virus, oh, okay. cytomegalovirus, <laughs> no, Kaposi no, well, syndrome, herpes. That's a lot of well, herpes, well, Ted. Well, There's well, actually well, a lot of herpes gosh. viruses. The herpes was brought in by the, the herpes came from outside of Taco Bell. So Taco okay. Bell isn't providing or is in support of this so-called herpes. I'm gonna come in hot. I'm gonna come in hard. I'm gonna give you like a <laughs> one out of a five jawbreakers. Cause like, what do you mean? All you had to do is like a big UV lamp above the jawbreaker. Listen, you are going to destroy the mouths of thousands of children. The humanitarian in me weeps. However, the athlete in me relishes the challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm less proactive about maiming an entire generation of children. And for that reason, I give this a 3.5 out of 5. God, job why am I getting such low ratings right now? What the hell, guys? He's helping children build immunity mm. by exposing them to all sorts of germs <laughs> and diseases. Seven times So for that 4.2 out of 5. Wow. Mm, Thank I've you. always been um, a rooter for natural selection. <laughs> So I, I'll give you a strong four out of five. On one hand, yes, you have the disease stuff. On the other, I don't like children. Don't know as much as me. <laughs> Their futures are brighter than mine. They're short. Right in the middle of three out of five. I think it's passing. I'm not sure. I can't do math that well. This might actually be the best idea I have ever had in my oh, entire shit. life. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to show you.
the Rainbow oh. Whopper from Burger King. We did some talking and we realized that changing the meat, which is the part of the burger we think is wrong. We think there's something wrong with it. But our thought and plan is to put a small colored gel packet inside of the patty so that when you eat it, it changes the color of your poop. Mm. Wow. Wait, so you're selling a meat that's built like a gusher? Yes. Is the poop color a roulette or do you get to specify mm. which color you would like to make your fecal matter? You can choose your color, but one of them will have a golden dye. Oh. Ooh. And if you get the oh. golden dye, you get to go to the factory where the, where the cows are killed. <laughs> 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 There's a red one. Well, that oh, one, oh, that one's the worst. Imagine pranking your oh. friend and giving them a red one and not telling them what it was. They're so fucking freaked out and they go to the ER. I've seen what I need to see, but I, I just want to say this is one of the most horrific things I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to give it a five out of seven colors in the rainbow. That's pretty good. What happens if you don't get to shit it out and instead you vomit? Because the scene kid in me needs to know like about puking rainbows. It is 100% possible. And with that, I'm still going to give it a 2.7 mm. because this is <laughs> fucking nasty, bro. <laughs> I've always viewed you as quite the innovator, even despite your flaws. Sometimes your flaws and your innovation come together to create something truly beautiful. I think I'm going to have to give this a 4.5. Thank you, Ted. My favorite promotional food item of all time called Heinz Easy Sports. Yes. You could get ketchup <laughs> in different colors, and I feel like in more ways than just the colors, this is a successor. This is a six colored poops out of five from me. Wow. 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 Yes. Oh my god, off the charts! Wow. I was hoping nobody would bring up the uh, the colored ketchup because I definitely plagiarized this whole idea. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the best recreation? Let the people know. Peace out.